Hey everyone, my name is Alex Ryan. If you are going to the China Import Export Fair or the Canton Fair, which is what it used to be called uh, in Guangzhou, if you're going there, then this video is for you. Let's get started. Welcome back everyone. So going to the Canton Fair, first of all, it's a very exciting experience. It is so exciting because if you're looking for product ideas, you're gonna get a ton of product ideas there. You're gonna get so many, in fact, uh, you're going to be a little bit distracted and that's why it's good to actually go with someone who knows what they're doing i go with clients all the time we negotiate we sit down with factories we talk about pricing and we always get the best price for our clients but um, if you're going by yourself be warned there's going to be a lot of lines all right bring your own lunch you do not want to be eating uh, at there because you're literally there's thousands of people there there's about a thousand people outside mcdonald's trying to get mcdonald's right so they've got a food court in there but uh, you do not want to be eating there so bring your own lunch uh, second step is try and stay at a hotel near the fair because getting taxis excuse my french is a bitch getting taxis it is so difficult there's lines hundreds of people trying to get taxis and most hotels in the area and uh, you know it will take you forever there's traffic jams you're going to negotiate the tr with, with the taxis sometimes some of them are dodgy a lot of them are dodgy actually in Beijing I had a bunch of dodgy uh, taxis who don't even turn the meter on and uh, they refuse to turn the meter on anyway um, but they have those in uh, Guangzhou as well and um, it's exciting so try and stay at a hotel near the fair so you can walk across the road i usually stay at a, a, at a nice hotel in the area i think it's the shangri-la or somewhere there i think it's, it's just opposite and i used to stay there it's expensive but the negotiation you do after is priceless i've met factory owners there i've actually met suppliers i said i'll oh, come over we'll have, we'll have a little uh, a drink after the fair come and join us and they just walk across the road and they join us and we're at this beautiful five-star hotel and you have something uh baiju 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 and it's like a it's like a vodka it's like actually it's vodka it's like a mix with a marriage of vodka and turpentine <laughs> and they make this drink baiju b-a-j-u i think it is it is probably by by far the um the worst possible drink you could ever put into your body um but you have to try it so uh, we were drinking that and suddenly my price dropped 20%. So guys, keep that in mind. If you're staying close, you can do some really cool things and it makes you look good too in a five-star environment. Um, but going to the Canton Fair, it's a very exciting experience. Take heaps of notes, take heaps of business cards. Go to Vistaprint. Freaking hell, I've got to say this over and over again, right? I tell you what, I've said this to my clients so many times. We were heading over to the Canton Fair and I said, bring a business card. He goes, yeah, 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 all right, all right didn't bring one. I was like, man, what do you, what is, what's the point of this? You know, like in the nicest way. Yeah? And I was a bit, we ended up getting some done really sort of fast, but very expensively in, in Guangzhou. Uh, but uh, uh, we ended up getting some, but go, go to Vistaprint, $10, get yourself, probably spend 20 bucks, get 500 business cards and bring them over with you, all right? If you're trying to import bicycles and put bicycles are us or bicycles incorporated on the business card, put manager, not CEO, but manager, all right? Because that, that title seems to be a, bit, uh, seems a little bit more important. If you're the CEO and you're over there handing business cards out, you look like a small company. Even if you are, you look like a small company. Put manager or sales manager or sourcing, uh, sourcing manager or buyer's agent on there or something like that. But uh, don't put CEO or founder. It's not, this isn't, uh, you know, it, it, this isn't about you. It's about you getting the best price and you appearing bigger than you are. Because bigger you are, the better price discount you get. All right, um, let me see if there's any other tips. Yeah, so bring your own lunch. Make sure you get there on time. Make sure you have good walking shoes. Don't try and negotiate when you're in the Canton Fair. People don't negotiate, they just hand you brochures, you talk about you know, the products, and you arrange the arrangements afterwards. So you actually meet the factories usually after the fair. They're not gonna negotiate on price. I've had, I had, um, I was there with a client and next door to me there was this other guy who had no clue what he was doing, but that's all right. Um, he was trying, which is great, right? Uh, so if you are there by yourself, you know, don't, don't do this because it doesn't make you look good. He was trying to buy, he goes, oh, how much for a thousand? And the Chinese person was like, oh, you know, I, you know, we can't really give prices here. Let's have a chat. And she goes, oh, 
you know, no, I want the price now or I'm walking away. And she goes, oh, okay, all right, well, I'll give you the price. And I'll tell you what, that first of all, it was rude to doing that. But second, the price they gave him probably wasn't the best price. You build relationships, what we call is Guangxi. It stands for building relationship and building face, creating of good value. Um, and it's relationships and commerce with China is all about relationships, building relationships, long-term relationships, and creating, um, creating trust. So if you're rude and the first go, really the factory owner who was sitting behind them, usually it's the guy or the lady sitting behind the salesperson, they're the ones who own the factory or they're the ones who are running the operation for, for, for selling to Westerners. Um, usually if you know, they were hit, they're, they're not gonna probably deal with this person, right? Because they just don't wanna deal with the headaches. But guys, yeah, be nice, be courteous. Go with somebody though, I, I, I kid you not. Importing from China, if you make mistake, mistakes, it's a very uh, expensive mistake. So make sure you're going with someone. I go every year, I'm going this year. I'm heading to Shanghai as well in December, meeting clients, meeting factories and suppliers. Go with somebody, right? It's very, um, it's very cheap to travel to China. It's uh, our prices, our fees are very inexpensive. It's always good to go with somebody. Actually, you know what? And also last, last thing, uh, before I plug my business any further, is hire a translator. Outside the fair, you have people holding these signs saying, speak English, um, here's my amount. They'll go around with you, they'll help you translate, and, they'll, and it actually makes you look good as well. Give your business cards to them, they'll hand it out to uh, the person, okay? But uh, yeah, guys, if you wanna work with us, contact us, 02-8003-7534. We've got some free videos on our, our website as well and, and on YouTube, but work with us, guys. Give us a call if you're interested and you're serious about starting an importing business. And if you wanna um, really make sure you, you want it, you, your product you choose is hot and actually does sell, all right? And you wanna have a business and you wanna set it up properly from the beginning. My name's Alex Ryan. Thanks for joining us today and happy importing. Talk to you real soon.